So I want to build the 13 BNA engine uh, just to play with it. I'm still not decided where to install it, but I want to build one. And here are four rotor housings from two 13 BNA engines, six port from a Mazda RX-7 FC. And these two here is from a 13 BNA engine that I bought for 10,000 pesos. Uh, around $200 and this one is also from a 13 BNE engine 6 port also from a Mazda RX-7 FC but this one I got this uh, previously water flooded uh, that's why you'll see the color of the rotor housings there are corrosion everywhere and I'll just be examining the rotor housings and which one to use this unflooded engine there's so much wear at the side and at the center this water flooded engine has a minimal wear at the side and no wear at the center uh, but one of the rotor housings has a chipped off uh, chrome area and even the metal surface under the chrome area is also eaten away by corrosion uh, so I'm still undecided which one to use from these four so this is the rotor housing from the non water flooded 13B and I just want to show you the wear for this rotor housing so I'll show you the rotor housing wear for the first rotary engine the one which is not water flooded uh, and here this is after I resurface the rotor housings you will see here wear and on the other end you will see corrosion it means that the chrome surface is already removed by the wear and here there's also wear at the center uh, starting from this and ends here see the wear here and on the other end continuing here and to here here and also here at the center Starting from here and ends here. Where on the other end and on this end. There. This is for the front rotor. And for the rear rotor. And this is for the rear rotor. You will also see where here at this end and the other end. And at the center starting from here and ends here where here also here where where the wear here at both ends are both 0 0.0015 of an inch um, here also and we're also here at the center starting from here and ends here that's it for this uh, rear rotor housing and now for the water flooded 13B engine this is the front rotor housing Nowhere at the center. I find nowhere at the center part of the chrome part of this rotor housing. But this is the worst part of this uh, rotor housing. You'll see that the uh, chrome surface here is already chipped off by around three and a half millimeter. See that even the metal part is already eaten away by corrosion. So here but uh, a very slight wear at the other end and no wear marks at the center no chatter marks uh, I'll show you very slight chip off chrome and a slight wear only at the other end no wear at the center
also slight uh, chrome flaking here and for the rear rotor housing very slight wear also here no wear on the other end no wear at the center part slight wear here no wear at the center slight wear also here at the other end There's also chrome flaking here, but it's just around 1 millimeter, I think. Around 1 to 1.5 millimeter only of chrome flaking here at this end, and none of the other side.